Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use adaptive design with the new Adobe Muse release. Um, a lot of it is focused, the new release, um, a lot of it is focused on uh, responsive design, but responsive design doesn't let you add scroll effects. So you might still want to use adaptive design. So to use adaptive design, I'm going to open up Adobe Muse here. And we'll go to File, New Site. And then here where it says Fluid With, we're going to say Fixed With. And then I'll click OK. And we don't need to go to the advanced, advanced settings unless you wanted to change uh, some of the margins. Like for instance, I'll go to New Site again. And there's just a few advanced settings here that you can play with. Uh, but yeah, we'll create a new site. And then I'll double click on the home page. And then to make a tablet and phone version of the the desktop version, because right now we're in the desktop version, um, we'll simply go to page, add alternate layout, and then we'll click tablet. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll add another uh, alternate layout for phone. I'll go to page, add alternate layout, and I'll click on phone. And then if we did have any content on our, on our desktop or tablet, we could copy Th that content from those different uh, layouts. So I'll click OK. And then if I go to my plan view now, we see we have desktop, tablet, and phone. So I'll go to desktop, and now we can see if we go to scroll effects, we have access to the scroll effects. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, kind of give that quick tip. Um, I know that not having scroll effects isn't the best thing. And for us that are used to using scroll effects, we do want to still use those. So um, adaptive design is still built into this release. Um, although it does focus on responsive design, we can still uh, use adaptive design. And I think for myself, I'll, prob I, I'll probably still use adaptive design, um, but it's just nice to have responsive design because now if you know, you're a web developer and a client says, you know, hey, I want my website to be, be responsive, um, you can now say, yes, I can make your website responsive and you can use Adobe Muse. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, thanks for watching. And again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.